hello everyone i believe i'm live um let's see i just need to check i think i have a horrendous time with the facebook stuffs so welcome if i am live welcome everyone to the wednesday um craft stash live it's just me today it's helen griffin and we're going to be looking at my brand new collection today so it's just my hands here and all of that because it's just a lot easier having to cope with lots of different cameras so lou is taking a very well deserved break um, and she will be back next week. So in the meantime, we have myself today and we have Sam Calcott with her new Halloween collection on Friday. So that is going to be a lot of fun. It's a really cool, fun week today. So I really do need to check whether I am actually live and whether I'm actually talking to myself. Uh, let's have a look. I've got my phone in front of me. I'm hoping that I'm live. It looks like I am so I'm going to click on that video and I just need to mute myself. There we go, I can hear myself. And I can see comments, excellent. Right, hi Linda, hi Zonitsa, hi Gemma, hi Rina. Right, I'll be keeping my eyes on all of these um, comments as well, as much as I can. Um, so I'm hoping you're looking forward to this. If you're new to journaling or memory keeping, then stay tuned. Hopefully you're going to find this really interesting. If you have any questions, I'm going to do my best. Um, this is actually a great opportunity for me personally to see how everyone likes things because I do design all of these um, collections and putting them together. And it's great for me to ask you guys some questions while we're here as well. So um, hi, Hilary. Hi, Christine Howard. Oh, good. Craft Stash can hear me loud and clear. That's great. Yep. Send me love, love hearts there. Um, hi, Carol Lewis. Yes. The, well, I'm not too sure if it is even Facebook Gremlins. It might be just my brain. I always go live with uh, YouTube. It's just so much easier. There's just a, a button that says go live and I press it and I go live. But it seems to be just like non-existent in the Facebook software. So um, I eventually found it. So you know so I just had to really it gets me every single time so maybe I should go live more often so I'm just gonna pop my phone over there right so we've done a sound test you can all hear me nice and well and I think we're ready to start so apologies if I was a bit late getting here but yeah I couldn't find the go live button anyway we're here we're gonna have fun together and this is the brand new collection I have so much to show you um, I have six new products in this um, memories collection and it's basically a traveler's notebook um, like covers with lots of accessories to really help you you know get started on there and we also have a competition as well that's a Facebook competition at the moment so you'll be able to find all the details of that on the craft stash web page and I'll be going through all of those um, prizes in a moment so I'm not too sure where to start really I've got so much mess here on my desk so um, I'm just gonna start with clearing the decks a little bit so I don't confuse everyone with what I'm looking at because you know when you have loads of stuff in front of you, you get really distracted so let's try and make some nice neat piles here so I hope you've all had a lovely week last week uh, my oven broke oh the heating element broke in my oven on Friday so um, we have an engineer coming out to uh, no Friday uh, in two days time to fix it so I have I have a top oven as well, so I've been using that. So that's why next ride was absolutely fine for me. Okay, so let's pile up all of these products. So I'm just going to pop this here just as um, a little background there. I just love the bright colours. We'll be going through this last. So let's have a quick look at the first die set. I'm hoping the lighting is okay as well. It's a, a funny old day here in the south of England. So this is the first one. This is actually the first um, die that I designed in the whole collection and I knew I wanted this one and it had to have a few accessories in there too including this little pocket there. Okay so this is quite a sizeful die. See how large this is? That is quite large and what it does is it's... Oh I've got a few leftovers there a few surprises always try to get those popped out before you run that through because it can affect how well it cuts so i've popped those out okay so this is great it's got all the score lines there for you and it also puts all of these holes in exactly the right place where you're going to need them 
and we also have here the corner die as well and a few accessories so let me just quickly grab the uh, the board that I've prepared it's a lot easier to see okay I've got them here I'm really short on space so I'm balancing things on my knee as, as I talk here so let's find the right board bear with me here it is here's the board here so there you go that's what it looks like um in real size okay so we have this section here this is you know what i put all of the ones that i want to show you right at the bottom of my pile there we go so this kind of protects the um, opening there on this one and i'll be showing you those in greater detail just need to clear what's on my knee so I also have this plate here that you can use for decorating and building up your layers this little dot here is what you would use just there to create um let's see if i can find one a hole here for you to put your elastic through i do find that it's quite large but i wanted to keep that as a standard size if you prefer a smaller hole just use a pokey tool just to um make a smaller hole otherwise your elastic may have to go into like a double knot and I'll be showing you exactly how to thread the elastic today so let's have a look at some examples from this collection so this one was made by the lovely Vicky I'm hoping she might be watching today hi Vicky if you are and she's made this beautiful traveler's notebook with this and she's even put one of uh, one of the handles on there she's added eyelets I'll be showing you how to do the eyelets as well the eyelets are optional and they take standard sized eyelets so let's have a quick look at the eyelets i have here so we have these here these are three and sixteenth of an inch which is half a centimeter so they're standard eyelets so they're easy to come by and she's beautifully decorated this with some of the stamps as well she's even added some fabric just underneath this uh, mat here from the papers and she's added some um, like really thin fabric on there and also some stitch detail on the front and the back as well it's absolutely lovely okay so let's open this up so inside we have this little pocket here it does come with this one and now this larger pocket behind now this does come in a separate set and we do have bundles available online so let me just get you a price for this one. I'm trying to remember to do prices as well so let's click on the website now this one is priced at 21.49 and again look at the craft stash website there'll be bundles where you can bundle a few things together as well okay so these notebooks here these are standard travelers notebook sized notebooks so they're easy to come by so they, these measure four and just over four and one eighth by eight and a quarter now craft stash do have some of these um let me have a quick look i need to go into my drawer here we go that's upside down there we go so craft stash do have some journals in um their shop at the moment and that are they are bundled with this as well if you wanted to get both so i'll be using those the demos okay so where were we vicky has done a lovely job here she's done some stamping on here with some brown ink my guess is it's going to be something like vintage photo something like that and she's added some lovely vellum here and using the paper as well and then she's done a beautiful layout now when you come to journaling could you let me know in the comments when you think of traveler's notebooks and journaling what comes to your mind because I'm going to be going through the comments a bit later and um, I'd just like to know your thoughts really because there's so many different things that you can use a traveller's notebook for if you've never done scrapbooking and you are put off by scrapbooking because of like the 12 by 12 size and the pressure for all of that then this is the perfect place to start because there's literally no big 12 by 12 layout it's a lovely little book that you can complete um got some more samples somewhere here we go under here i've got some more samples here so 
you can fill your pages up as much as you want you can even add your journaling so there's so many different ways that you can use a traveler's journal you can use it as a planner like with this one you can use it um, as a bullet journal if you don't know what bullet journaling is I would look that up on YouTube and try not to fall down a rabbit hole because that is that's exactly what's going to happen it's really interesting and there is such a huge vast array of videos to watch on that you know it's just as big as scrapbooking or card making uh, mini album making as well so it's kind of like a nice bridge between mini albums and um, travel travelers notebooks so this is a wonderful layout here and the photographs that she's chosen all of these mixtures of colors here from the clothes of the children you know they really do go well with the papers there as well okay so that is the travelers uh sorry the notebook so that is the large one so let's move on now to the next one i'm taking my time here i think i should probably speed up a little bit so this is the notebook wrap cover die set now i love this one as well you get some lovely dies in here i'll quickly show you them just in my hand here these are the dies and this is what we're going to be making today so let's have a quick look at that one got my balls here there we go so in order to make this one you need to die cut two of these rectangles and one each of, of uh, these now this one on the end there is just an option where you have this die here where you can pop that there to make that shape there so uh, let's show you an example here we go so here we have one made with some dis paper uh, with there, but the mats have been distressed with just a a tool just like that one the paper distressing tool I, I have no idea what it's called now these ones take standard a6 notebooks okay so they're going to be really easy for you guys to find okay now another great thing that i have used a couple of christmases as well is i've used this one uh, actually the other one here you can use a small one as well i've used a notebook like this for jotting down all my Christmas plans so and I can use it every year because I'd only use a few pages so I'd use a few pages for the presents and then I'd have another book here where I would pop in all of my food plans for the whole season and don't forget if you have any birthdays in December add them add them here with the presents so you don't forget so I've got quite a few birthdays in December to remember and then the last one is perfect for adding a few layouts not a whole not all of your Christmas because not everyone has time but if you just wanted to add a few photographs and a couple of notes and things you can add this as well and the great thing about these notebooks is there's so much um, there's so many pages in here you can probably do about this much for one Christmas and then you can carry on and have this section here for the next Christmas and you will have a record of all the Christmases past what you bought so you don't do any duplicates so that's what I do for Christmas and I've just made um, a little magnet just here I've just popped a little magnet magnet there and that closes just like that now the elastics that go through here I'll be showing you today how to do that you do actually end up with four elastics if I can show you there's an extra one just there these basically just slide on just like so and there's room there for four booklets but I've just doubled up this one here just to pop in my three so can, if you can imagine four booklets in there there's still quite a lot of space for all your plans okay so that is that one and for this one I've only used this die and two of these just to make an open book and I've just added some vellum there just as a a cover as well and if you wanted to use the pockets from the other die set the notebook cover this pocket will fit in the smaller one as well so everything is designed to work together now let's have a quick look at Vicky's one here I absolutely love this one here so she's gone more down the um, the memory journaling instead of just having pages and pages full of writing I like to um, also document my memories in that sort of way as well it's less pressure from doing a 12 by 12 and it really does read like a book as you go through all of your memories and dates and things and you don't even have to particularly do them in any sort of order 
again you can even just have one just for um, your the whole year and just go through it and you can just add all your booklets as well if you can imagine how much smaller and less space that that takes up if you have a year's worth of memories in here compared to a big 12 by 12 scrapbook album that can possibly even push into getting a second album in so as you can imagine this is quite small and it is perfect for taking with you anywhere you go as well so this is Vicky's one and she's lined it inside and outside she's done a wonderful job here with the decorating she's created her own pocket here and popped in some mats there so that's going to be perfect tuck spot there for your uh, photographs and again photographs are absolutely great if you just write a little bit something about it and if you want to kind of keep it more hidden you can create a little pocket to, or an envelope or something to pop it in and it keeps it a little bit more private and you have um, Vicky's made this lovely decorated cover here as well she's literally just carefully torn around the edges here as well just um, just to keep it um, less uh, clean and simple if that makes sense there's a little bit of distressing there and just added some flowers and again this is from the uh, the stamp set and this is her little layout here so she's me and my nana at my sister's party she is my world and yes I do believe she is because I'm friends with her uh, Vicky on Facebook for many many years and she absolutely adores her Nana she really does she loves sharing pictures and the little stories and things like that so that's definitely a very nice photo of them too and these little things here are absolutely perfect for um, popping down on paper making it a physical thing to look at not just for yourself for your children to and friends you know just to look at as well it's putting written down names to photographs which can be an absolute pain if you're doing your family tree and you have loads of old photographs and you don't know who half of them are you know someone may have written on the back but more or less that doesn't you know ordinarily happen so it's great just to get everything documented down it's all there and it doesn't even take up a lot of space now this one is a perfect size for like a coffee table and things like that and again if you have a little bookshelf you know it's smaller than a dvd i mean it's a little thicker than a dvd but again it's really cool okay let's quickly move on now so we have here next the notebook pocket and tuck point die set trying to avoid the my ring light there okay here is the mat for this one this is quite sizable actually look at that it looks quite small in here but this is what it makes okay so we have the larger pocket here Vicky has used that in her sample just here she's used that large pocket and layered the other pocket in front now you don't get the tags with this because you get to choose whatever tags you want whether you just want to do photos um, it doesn't have to be tags you can just put your photos in here so let me take these out they do look wonderful there with the, uh, the papers here is the pocket there it's a triple pocket and it each one goes all the way down to the bottom so if I pop this larger one in it goes all the way down to the bottom there and then we can just pop in the next one it's absolutely fabulous and then pop in the next one if you can imagine having layers of photographs and little bits of journaling on there as well so you even get this little mat here that's going to be the same shape to map that so you've got these score lines just along here and we also have this little die let me see if I can fish this one out for you because I do need to show you what it looks like um, I can see you're all writing comments in that lot so I will be going through some more um, comments in a moment so here is this die just here there we go that's the die there it does three little long slots and it, it cuts it all out in one go so you can make a very similar thing to this one just on a smaller scale so when you go to places nowadays ticket stubs really aren't ticket stubs they're like big pages you know big wads of tickets you know they're not tiny like they used to be so these are absolutely perfect for popping in all of your tickets now this large die here this has a mat just pop that on there okay again this whole set will work with the larger one and also the smaller one as well so 
absolutely perfect for that okay so i think the sun's gone in now so it is getting a little bit dark but we're almost there now showing you all the product i am going into extreme detail here because i want you guys to see exactly what you get so here we have the journal accessories die and stamp set it looks it looks pretty tiny actually okay so this is a stamp set and a die set comes in this brand new style of box okay and you get an A5 stamp set in there. There we go, this is well used by myself now. So we have these beautiful flowers here. You've got three flowers and you have these arrows. Again, you can make columns with them, rows of them, longer arrows. We also have this lovely um, stamp there with the stitching. Now Vicky's gone in with some white um, heat embossing powder there. Oh, I think it's on black paper. And we have this block here. Now let's show you an example of that. I've made a planner feature. You can use your traveler's notebooks as a diary or as a planner. So I've used this box here to create my planner spread. And this little block here, I've just got, I've just stamped it here. This will be easier for you to see. I've just stamped this here with some faint, um, ink so i've used lulu lavender i like that name lulu lavender it's a very very faint one just to stamp where i'm going to put the days of the week so you will need a separate days of the week stamp and maybe some numbers as well that would be a separate stamp set but everything else i have used to create this planner and we even have this die just here so all of these dies will cut out the stamp set so there's no fussy cutting this die here you can directly cut that into your photograph and just add a photograph if you wanted to make a photograph for that day so it's super easy if you kind of wanted to add a few memories in with your planning as well so that is a really good uh, little planner there and also moving on we have the t the journal textures and labels stamp set that's slipped down a bit let's pop that up there so um i do have here it is a sheet so you can see this a little easier so we have these lovely textures here it's got a slight bit of new newsprint in there and some texture and then we have this beautiful um I, I, I call everything beautiful but it really is i absolutely love this one again it's perfect for building up your backgrounds and layers as well so i've made this card here I've used some of the uh the flowers here from the other stamp set and i've taken the sentiments here from these printed ones there's a nice array here of words that you can make cards and do your planning and um, your memory journaling too. So this is absolutely lovely. I've just popped some of those up onto some foam tape. Okay. Happy birthday, Dawn. I'm just keeping an eye on um, the comments there. There is another birthday. There is another birthday. Is she watching? If, you're, if it's your birthday, comment and we can all wish you happy birthday. Right, I'm making a big mess now and I need to start getting ready for the, um, the demos in a minute. There's just one more thing that I believe I need to show you. Let's double check if I've showed you everything. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just counting. <laughs> Let's quickly show you the dies as well. Put all of these dies in there as well. Those are the ones that are going to fussy cut everything out. So everything back there's just one thing i have to show you now and that is oh, go back in please there we go go back in and that is the papers now there is one other thing actually that i probably should show you is this beautiful peony here now i've used that on this traveler's notebook and i've also used it on this traveler's notebook as well there's so much to show you guys today there we go. Can you see how different these are? This is using the same die, which is the Peony, the Ultimate Peony and Leaf die set. These are really large dies, actually. If you, if you see that's the largest one, you get a set of four in there plus the leaves as well. So with this one, I've used crepe paper. I've used the good quality Italian type crepe paper that has the beautiful, um, really wonderful stretch to it if you can see how that stretches if you use ordinary crepe paper it um it will tear so i would check out that sizzix have a beautiful range 
of crepe papers that will do this job. And the same dies were used with ordinary cardstock. Can you see how different these have turned out depending on, on what you use to make them? Stunning. Right, let's have a quick look at the papers. And then I shall be moving on to the first demo. So this is the memories paper pack. 12 by 12, 24 single-sided sheets, 250 GSM. So it's great that they're single-sided because you don't have to choose your patterns. So you do get three um, copies of each style. So this is so bold. And if you bring that down and match it with the stripes, look how striking that is. No pun intended there. So there we go. Got the black and white stripes. You can have so much fun with this, so please, if you do get this collection and make things, I would love to see them. So you can tag me, you can join my Facebook group, which is Paper Crafting with Helen Griffin. That's a Facebook group. Lovely bunch of people over there. We love to see everything that people have made. We get loads of new ideas. I'm not talking about these papers. <laughs> there we go, let's go back. So we have this beautiful mixture here of loads of different colours. So it even goes with the top that I'm wearing today, actually. So that would go wonderful. It's a very, very, very busy floral print, but having the um, the script here, the black and white script, all the stripes, it really does match. So let's move those aside. Got the newsprint there. Then we have some watercolored flowered leaves. Not flowered leaves, just watercolored leaves with blue. Love that one. And then we have a marble, a pink marble here. This is lovely. Again, all of these plainer styles will be a lovely backdrop and a change against all the busy patterns like this beautiful peony rose here. And then we have this one. It's beautiful blue here. It's gradient. Here it goes from the dark to light. Are my light settings actually a little bit dark? I'm hoping this might fix it. The sun has gone in. I'm hoping that might make things a little bit brighter for you guys let me know let me know in the comments so this is a wonderful wavy blue here where it goes from dark to light so you get three of each design again it's white on the back so it's going to be perfect for gift boxes again it's a really nice weight for making your 3d items mini albums as well if you have any of my mini album dies what would you use this paper on the small, medium or large, I would love to know. And if you had any gift boxes, what kind of things would you make? I think this would go really well with some of the handbag dies that I have as well. I think that this one especially would make a lovely lining. Okay, so that is the Memories Paper Pack. Right, I'm going to clear the decks now so I can get on with the first demonstration. So we're going to be popping together this one here today so I, I have a box behind me but I don't think I'm gonna use it I'm just gonna just plop everything behind me <clears throat> just bear with me this is why I need Lou to you know have a little chit chat while I get ready okay I think I think we're ready right so let me grab my preparation here. I pop everything into little bags to help me along the way. Cover wrap, pocket and tuck. So I am going to do a bit of die cutting in a moment. And I've got a piece of vellum here as well. I've just written the measurement down there for you guys as well. Okay, so let's show you the die set, what I'm using today. So we're going to be using this one and uh, this one here. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to do the elastics to this. Now the elastics go in exactly the same as the other one as well. So I've got all my mats here cut out, ready to go. So I am going to be doing some sticking, some gluing, and you're going to be needing some one millimeter thick elastic. This is just round elastic. I'm hoping you can see that. I've got a black surface there. There we go. Um, you can get it in gold. You can get them in different colors as well. But I find that one millimeter thick is the best one. I have a two millimeter one and it's just it's just super chunky. So we're not going to be playing with that today. 
<clears throat> just to take a sip of water it's a good job you can't see me I've just spilt that down my top okay can't take me anywhere right I'm gonna grab my bone folder now I'm gonna show you exactly what I've cut so I've got two of the rectangles I've got one of the spine pieces with the holes that's for our elastic I have the front section here and I'm going to run that through the dye machine oh no I'm not because I've already cut the mat so I'm going to make, be making this one today so that's that's for that one and then we have the curved spine I'm hoping that might bring up some uh, lines there as well okay I think I might have to open the curtain a bit more it's still pretty dark I'm hoping that's not going to be too bright but we'll see how it goes I'm obsessed with my lighting by the way guys if you watch any of my videos I'm like oh it's dark it's too dark I have locked everything but things change the sun goes in the sun goes out so uh, oh gosh Victor <laughs> oh, I, I'm not actually a huge fan of vodka unless it's in like a fruit drink something like that so I do like a Smirnoff I do like the pink Smirnoff's quite nice the raspberry flavour <laughs> There we go. Thanks, uh, Sam. She says nice and clear. Good. Okay, so um, let's get this together. So, grab my glue. I'm going to be using Cosmic Shimmer today. So, first off, I'm going to start by attaching these two rectangles to the piece with the holes. So, it'll be a spine piece with the holes. So, I'm just going to add glue all the way up to the score line. I'm going to try and go up into these little corners as well where it tapers. Just gives you a better result. So Vicky, I might have to have a, a vodka later on. Actually, no, I'm going to save it tomorrow after my oven's fixed. Yeah, it went kaput on Friday, so... That was a lot of fun. It tripped the electricity in the house. So, we're like, so okay, so let's test what, what tripped the electrics. Let's test it out. Turn everything off. Start from scratch. So yeah, it was the oven. It's actually not too expensive to fix as well. I managed to get the um, the manufacturer in, an engineer from the manufacturer for quite a an okay sort of price. So it's not going to be too bad. Okay, so I now have that popped in. Okay, so if you wanted to stop just there and just add your elastics, you have a nice book with space for you to put your notebooks in, but we're going to be carrying on with this now. So um, this curved section here will go on to the right hand side, so I just need to fold those over. And depending on the thickness of the card that you're using, I'm using 220, but if you do, if you do use anything thicker than that, then do... Um, just go in, these are straight lines so you can use this in your scoreboard just to get these two lines scored so it just makes it easier to fold it and all of these vertical lines mean that means that you can curve this quite nicely I'm just using my finger here just to curve that there we go and now I'm just going to glue that so I'm going to turn this over now and then glue that onto there okay so has anyone else had a little mini disastrous week let me know in the comments i will be going through the comments afterwards as well i do like to read all the comments so i'm really enjoying the fact the heat wave is practically over and we had a little bit of rain yesterday so i'm super enjoying that i did lose a few plants in the heat wave which I'm sad about, so I'm going to be replacing them in the spring. I'll see if I can get them before winter, but it was basically my hydrangeas. They just really did not like the heat. They're just frazzled. I'm going to see if I can get them back to life. One of them is showing a few signs of new leaf budding right in the centre, so I don't think that one's completely dead, but I have lost a few. So anyway, we can always try again next year, can't we? Right, so this is all now popped together. There we go. This is 
the basis, just the bare bones of the notebook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly, quickly, quickly pop on my mats and I'm going to give you a measurement in a moment. So let's pop this one on, give you some measurements for the mats. They're really simple measurements as well. Okay, so this measures five and seven eighths by four and a quarter and again there'll be tutorials for all of these on my youtube channel which is helen griffin uk i'm going to pop this one on there i'm going to keep it all floral on the outside and then i'm going to be, be really contrasting on the inside with some print like newsprint black and white stuff ah oh, maria's lost her raspberry bush just yeah the, the plants are just like no <laughs> Oh, she's lost the gooseberry bush and the ace and her acer. Oh, aces are so hard to kind of keep alive, I found. Oh. Uh, what do we do next? I have this one here. Let's turn this around. I've cut this out to for this one here to be. Let's double check that fits there. I think I've cut this one out a bit too small. Hmm, okay. I got carried away when I was cutting. So this measures five and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So I'm just going to take a corner rounder, doesn't matter what brand, just as long as it cuts the corner, or you can go in with some scissors and cut the corner. Do that. This one is by X Cut, and I believe it is also on the Craft Stash website. There's a few to choose from on there. There's a five millimeter corner round and a 10 millimeter corner round. So um, you have a choice there of the sizes. So I'm just gonna pop that on. Hope you guys are having fun watching this. We're gonna be decorating a well, the inside of a traveler's notebook in the next demo. Especially if you're new to this, it's kind of nice to be shown how to kind of add your photographs and, and stuff like that. So hi Karen, I'm looks like your week's been well. Oh, she's had some rain in Arkansas. We have quite a bit forecast for today, but it hasn't arrived. And you know when you think, is it actually gonna arrive or not? I don't know. It's got to the point where my washing has built up as well, so the minute I want to get some washing done, because here in the UK not everyone has dryers it's not really a thing well it is a thing but it's one of those things where you prioritize having a washing machine over a dryer so I'm not even going to mention the energy prices on using one at the moment ah uh, anyway uh, this one measures five and seven eighths so it's the same height for all of them and one and a quarter so that's going to go there i'm just going to uh, just curve it outwards just like that use your bone folder as well if you find that helps just to get that curve because this does curve out slightly and that will help it to kind of stay in place as well let's get the glue on again i'm using cosmic shimmer okay so i'm not going to put any paper on there because I've got oh dear oh dear I cut these wrong and I have one for the outside as well maybe I'll pop this on the outside whoops I just want to get on to the eyelets next so I can show you how to do those now with the eyelets you do need an eyelet setter um, I like to use the cropper dial you can buy cheaper versions on Amazon and places like that. Um, I prefer the crop, crop, blah, blah, cropper dial. I've had mine for over 15 years. It's still going strong. I absolutely love it. So I'll be using that today. Okay, right. So that is my book, all covered now. Looking, oh, that's upside down. There we go. That's going to close just like that. And then off camera, I'm just going to cut another one exactly like this, but out of the the newsprint there just for this section there so let's move on to this one now if you want to you can continue to add paper just like that so glue that down 
turn it over and you will have something that looks like that okay so grab your hole punch <clears throat> or your cropper dial now I'm going to be using this side here which is the 3 8 of an inch at the top here so 3 16 of an inch it even says it at the top there so then this piece of paper should be in place just like that if you glued it and then you can use that as your guide to make the holes again and then turn it over add your paper to the other side and you'll have the holes here on the other side for you to do exactly the same thing now that will really add some strength to your <clears throat> spine I keep putting that upside down okay so I've got my eyelets here again these are standard eyelets so they're easy to come by these ones are from we are memory keepers so these work with those ones uh, the cropper dial and any other standard eyelet setter um, I also have a little case here with some eyelets in as well actually all of these colored eyelets apart from these gold ones actually came with my cropper dial so um, that was really handy sometimes you can buy them as little kits so I'm going to use gold I think there we go now if you have a cropper dial and you haven't worked out <laughs> The, what base to use because these do move about if you can see that they wiggle so I have let me tell you what setting I have I have the A this one is an A at the top there and at the bottom is very faint this is a number one at the bottom so it's A1 okay for those eyelets Gosh, were you, was anyone watching? Um, I can't remember now if it was the second show. When I was on Creating Craft the other day, I dropped a load of my eyelets um, on the floor and Janice was going around trying to pick them up. <laughs> oh, yeah, she didn't want me to uh, slip over, you know, like Home Alone style. I'm sure that would have made great outtakes for the end of the year if I had fallen over, but I don't think they were that slippy, so... Let's get these eyelets in. Yes, Louise, um, cropper dials are fantastic. <clears throat> you can even cut through thick chipboard with these. Absolutely wonderful. I definitely recommend the cropper dial. I mean, I, I bought this in 2006. That's a long time ago. Still going strong. Just don't, this is heavy, don't drop it on your foot, okay? Because it would probably break something and I'm not talking about the cropper dial breaking I'm talking about your foot there so there we go let's get these in last one I do sometimes go a bit quiet but if you watch my YouTube channels you know I do anyway so there we go right I've got my eyelets in I've got the lid on that now so I don't drop them anywhere put things away as I go let's move over to the elastic okay right so as I said before I'm using one millimeter elastic and we're going to start off in this hole here but from behind so the bottom right hole here and again you can come back and watch this on the replay but I will have a tutorial out as well for this one so I was actually thinking of making just a tutorial just on threading this and just having that as like a two or three minute video so I will probably do that too okay and that will be on Helen oh gosh there's kids playing in the park there's a few screamers okay so apologies for that so we're going to go through the bottom hole from behind and then we're going to thread through the top hole There we go. Um, no, the elastic is actually from Amazon, but you can get them from haberdasheries. I would recommend getting a reel of these because this will last you forever. I bought this about five years ago and I'm still, still using it. Okay, so we've gone in through this hole, in through that hole. So now we're now behind. So we're going to go through the center hole from the back. I'll pull that through and then we're going to go down the center hole and then we're going to go up the left hand hole at the bottom 
and then we're going to go down the top hole on the left and then we're going to go through the middle hole from the back there we go because I stopped a few times I would definitely recommend checking out the video that I'll be making for my YouTube channel because it will just be a couple of minutes just showing you how to do that without any interruptions so I'm gonna cut this now now this one at the bottom there we're gonna thread through the center there we go I'm gonna show you the other side now there we go you should have these little lines here and these little lines just at the bottom there okay so all I'm gonna do now is tie a double knot now this will stretch so make sure it's not too slack here but it has a nice stretch there just to hold the notebooks in place so tie yourself a knot there we go and you can cut that after you've done a really tight double knot there we go and now I have four elastics there that will hold four notebooks okay so we're almost done now now I've taken my time doing this but you can really easily get these put together nicely and easily right so let's add our notebooks now just have some standard A6 notebooks you can find them Amazon Wilkinson's the Wilkinson's ones will be decorated but you can cover those or if you like the decorations you can keep them um, other stationary places like that should um, do but the ones I have do have thin paper so do check out your papers before you do them because you can buy special ones where you can do mixed media on them as well so we just simply slide those on so have a good shop around and see what you can find but I definitely recommend the tall ones here I love these these tall ones because these are from craft stash they have some lovely thick papers here absolutely wonderful there okay let's get this put together actually I'm going to do a double elastic for the center because I'm only going to be putting three in there and then you can just give it a little bit of a jiggle around to get it in the center but it will mostly find its own way to the center let's get this next one in there we go and there we have our wrap done with our notebooks again perfect gift now I do have a little bit of vellum here I'm going to make a little bit of a cover so if you want to you can stamp on this use black stays on stamp uh, ink because it will dry so much faster than um, if you use something like VersaFine this will dry eventually but use some stays on ink because this does have a little bit of a sheeny surface so you need to cut this to five and a half by eight and a quarter and I'm going to score this so remember I didn't write down the measurement there so we're going to score this at four and that should create a cover and if you do have any overlap then you can just trim it off so I'm going to turn this over and we're going to score again at four there we go we've got a little book cover now and then we can just slide that on there we go we have a lovely cover so I do have um, Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I can't remember which one it was in now, but I will come across it in a moment as we go through the samples again. So that is the notebook wrap. I absolutely love that one. Was it this one I did it to? No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. We are now going to make let me see let's make a quick notebook pocket pop that in and then I need to jump straight into another demo because I am conscious of the time there 
and I really want to show you guys how to make these things so I'm just going to quickly make this run that through so I need to move a few things out of the way <coughs> Right, so I'm going to be using some matching pink card for this. Okay, so I won't have time to do the mats, but I will show you exactly how this goes together. So let's run that through. So this one does need um, a large format die cutting machine, so something for A4, but the wrap that I've just made, that will go through a standard um, die cutting machine just grabbing it as it comes out the end I once forgot about that actually during a, um, a create and craft show and it fell on the floor <laughs> I think John next door was doing a, a live show at the time and it just made a massive clatter okay so these do have the shaped mats as well. Okay, so all we have to do is just fold down on the score line there. There we go. that on and now this will fit inside this booklet here so we can pop that just there so we're just going to pop that there okay so let's add some glue again this pocket will also fit in the tall traveler's notebook cover as well Actually, that might actually look better here. Let's put that here. Okay, and there we have a lovely pocket with three sides. And again, you get the mat so that you can actually coordinate that with your book. So, and that is going to close just like that. Okay, I absolutely love this one. Right, so let's pop that aside. So I'm going to quickly show you now the fabric paper that I have as well. This is always really popular. This is the fabric paper. I have just some samples here. So this is what it looks like as it comes out the packet. Nice and smooth. This is what it looks like all crinkled up after I have soaked it and scrumpled it up in warm water. And this one here is where I've distressed it with some vintage photo distress ink and a brush, a distressing brush, an inking brush. Okay, so some of the albums, this is absolutely perfect for making the covers. So I have some here, there we go. Absolutely perfect, how sturdy that is. It's like a false leather. So you can wash it, you can ink it, you can sew it. It acts like a paper that you can wash, that you can sew on, you can ink it, you can die cut it. Absolutely wonderful. And this is what it looks like with the wrap that we just made with the ornate side. Again, it's really nice and tactile to kind of open and close. Now this one I've just added some Distress Oxide ink as well. Vintage photo and I think walnut stain is actually a really good one as well. Now this one here was the one I made on TV last Sunday. This one has been through the wash. Always wash it first, dry it first before you die cut it because it has a tiny bit of shrinkage. So always wash the sheet first. Just hot water in a sink will do. You don't have to put it through the, the washing machine if you don't want to. Um, you'll have a better result just doing it in the sink. And then let it dry out flat and then ink it up and you have this beautiful beautiful notebook especially when you cover it with the um patterned paper here again that's the pocket that i have at the back so as you can see it works with both sizes 
Okay, so let's move on now to the second demonstration. I'll be showing you how to decorate or create a traveller's notebook page. Okay, so I'm going to be using one of these ones here. Let's take that out. And again, that fabric paper is available as a bundle with some of these items or available on its own. I think it might be slightly different to stone paper. I will have to look that up for you. Oh, I don't want the ones with the lines. So this one comes with the lines. You do get some different ones here. Let's take all of these out. I'm hoping someone can add a link from Craft Stash about the, the paper leather, if that's okay. And this one is a grid, and this one is plain. So I'm gonna go with the plain today. The grid is perfect if you're making your own bullet journals uh, and things like that. And it also makes a very great, like a subtle background as well. It's almost um, indestructible. I don't think you can rip it. It's If you have designer jeans, like the expensive ones, and you notice they have um, a brown patch on the back with the, the printing on there. It's basically the same stuff. It goes through the wash, it acts like a fabric. Um, it's basically that sort of thing. So it's really hard wearing. Okay, well, where is it? Uh, we're going to be going with the plate. Let's pop those aside. So I'm just grabbing a stencil. I'm gonna start off with a stencil first. Now this one is from Textures by Lou Collins. I'm missing her today. Hoping she's had a nice time off. Nice. She needs a really good rest. So I'm hoping she's doing absolutely nothing right now. Okay, so this is from the uh, Art Deco collection and it's the background chevrons. Okay, I'm just going to go for any old page in the centre here because I don't tend to do things in order unless it's a particular event. So I'm a pretty much random person. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you, Maria. And if you want me to look into getting different colours of that fabric paper, let me know because I would love to bring this out in other colours. So all I'm going to do is just going to do random patches, just like this. There we go. Again, you can literally travel with this, hence the Traveller's Notebook style, but just a few supplies and you can create beautiful backgrounds. Now a stencil and a bit of ink, and a few photographs, if you take a little travel printer with you as well, it's not going to um, take up a lot of space. There we go. Just going to add another little bit at the top there. There we go. It's still quite hot in here, so I don't want anything drying up. Okay, photographs. Okay, I tend to print up all of my photographs using my printer software. Now this is the same sort of printer software that comes with every single printer where you will have the option to do like index photographs. So you would highlight all your photographs that you want to print in your in your um, folder that they're in, you press down, control, and then you can right click, and then you'll have an option in the printer settings to do different layouts. But that's what um, I found. I have an Epson printer and it's a, it's a thing that works really well. So I'm just gonna quickly trim these out. Now I quickly did this right before going live, otherwise I would have had these trimmed out already. But it's great to kind of show you how I do my prints as well. So I'm literally just cutting everything with a white border. You can tell I've done this before, going quite quickly. So I've just printed out a lot of my favourite photographs. So. This is my daughter, she's now a teenager. Here she is, raiding the fridge and eating all the cereal. 
Okay, so I'm going to go for... I'm not going to do that one because I've done that a few times already. Now I have some flowers here that I have coloured in already. There we go. I'm just going to see which ones they go the best with. And then I'll quickly show you just how to how easy it is to colour these in. So but well, she was a day old here, so we can we can do this one. Or we have our first or second autumn. Yeah, it would have been her second autumn as well. So I'm gonna go with the baby photo when she was little. So let's move over now just to do some quick colouring in. So I have here some shades of yellow. You can use colouring pencils, you can use marker pens, alcohol pens. Um, drop me in the comments what your favourite pen is for colouring in, whether it's pencils. You know, I don't mind if you say brands and things. It's all great to kind of share what everyone uses. So I'm going to go for the light yellow here. Now this is super easy, I'm just going to colour in the whole thing. It's up to you how neat you do this, how many layers, how how intricate you want to do this. Now I've stamped this image and then I've die cut it, or I've die cut it using the outline die and then I've stamped straight onto the centre. So there's loads of different ways of doing it. Okay, so there is my yellow and as you can see there are lines here. So those are lovely guidelines actually for where to put your shading so I've got a little bit of a darker pen here now and I'm just going up where those lines are and again this flower looks lovely with pinks with purples there's so many different ways that you can color in this flower to make it look like it's a different sort of flower and again I'm just using the the shading lines there to tell me where to add the darker lines so it makes it lovely and 3d and it it's just so easy and effective so I've got for, gone for like a more of a mustard color now just for the center if you want to add a wink of Stella or something sparkly for the center you can do and if you were going for pink petals definitely try and go for a yellow center and now here we have some green just for the stem okay nice oops i went off the edge there nice and easy right so let's move back over now to our layout here we go um i've lost something actually i think i might just use i might just cut apart these actually right so i do want to use some more stamping on here now so i'm going to stick with the brown see i haven't planned this out i'm literally just making this up as i go so which is kind of cool for you guys because you get to see my thought process now this stamp is this block is too small i do have a larger one somewhere oh i know i have no idea if these are still in stock I think they're called the rocker blockers. The, the crafter's companion. There we go. Right, let's get that inked up. I think these are on the website. If they're out of stock, there is a little section where you can add your email address for when they're back in. Okay. So I'm just going to add that there there we go and then you can just use it again as a fainter print so you can always print more than once from one go with the ink pad to just keep going and it and the fainter it gets the more it adds to the uh the look of it I'm just gonna go like that there it doesn't have to be perfect there we go that is really building up our page and again my personal style is clean and simple so that's good enough for me and I do want to leave a little place there for my journaling as well so let's get this on there so let's do our little flower placement 
so I'm just going to add something like that and then I have a place here that I can do my journaling and I'm going to trim out some of these bits as well so I'm not going to add my journaling um, until after the show because whoops I tend to do that afterwards unless I've pre-planned what I'm going to say now I have done a lot of brown brownage I think the, the good word to say is brownage on this page so it's so this stark white that I've stamped these flowers on are a bit stark white so I'm going to blend these in slightly by just inking them up so they blend in with the rest of the brownage on the page now I absolutely love this photograph I actually took that on myself I'm so proud of myself for that one because that you know when you have a baby in hospital and you're, you're in the ward and then you have a little photographer profession professional photographer that comes around to take photos well I did actually go for that as well but no that one was much better the, the one that the professional pho the photographer took really wasn't that fantastic I bought it anyway but yeah I much prefer this one and I'm placing the photo here because she's looking to the left if I put this here and she's looking to the left it's drawing the eye off the page whereas if I put it here on the right hand side she's looking into the page into the whole layout so um, that is how I would place um, where people look and where I put them on the page so it really does make a difference on um, the layout so as you can see if I put it here it kind of cuts off the right hand side of the page and I pop it back it opens up the whole page because that is where she's looking because it's just human nature I think just uh, how things open up to where people are looking you know it automatically gives it that friendlier look okay so we're gonna pop this on there and I'm not gonna put any sort of dimension on here because once you do quite a few pages of this it does it does get a bit puffy and I'm just going to glue down things really well as well because they can actually flutter about oh I need to move that up because I have a little bit of the corner of that photograph just showing there we go let's hide the edge of that I'm going to pop that just here just just play around with your placements oh yeah I like that one There we go, and this one might just want to fold into this, it might get trapped, so I'm just going to move it along a little bit. There we go, just like that. And we're just going to pop this one up here. Now I do have space on this page that I'm working on, just uh, here, for more photographs. I did take a few other photographs, so I may just add some with Daddy obviously I wasn't looking my best on that day so I think there's only like one photo of me but um, yeah daddy had good rest afterwards so he looked a lot nicer okay so let's add some some words now so yeah precious is a good one I'm just gonna cut all of these out there we go right precious not in the way that uh, the golem would say it if there's any Lord of the Ring fans here that's just creepy okay so Caroline's asked um, what do I use to colour in the flowers I've used the Arteza pens they're just water brush pens they're really really good I love those but there's loads of other brands that will do the same sort of thing so have a look around and see what there is and I'm just going to do love as well that's a good word so a lot of these words that you can use are really good prompt words um, and they can actually spark how you journal can make you think ah this put me down that thought trail on things so they can really help and I need one more and I'm going to do memories 
as well because it's you know Katie was my first child and I've got some really strong memories so of that day so it was really a nice time there we go and I'm not gluing them down just yet because oh precious memories so we'll put memories down here we'll put precious just there okay let's get those glued down uh, where's my glue here we go I've made a mess There we go. Last bit of glue here and then I will be ready to do a quick recap. Remember there is a competition and that is uh, on the Facebook page. I think Instagram is involved as well on the Craft Stash Instagram and the Craft Stash Facebook page. There we go. So I have place here for more photographs or journaling or even both, depending how small that you can write. So let's have a quick look at the prize, what you will be getting. I did write it down. Where's my notepad? Here it is. Okay, so we have the notebook wrap, which is what we played with today. You can win that. And we have the 12 by 12 paper pad. So this is all one bundle. So there's that I'm knocking stuff over and the journal textures which I have used all of these today there we go so we have the textures here the journal textures the notebook wrap cover die set and the 12 by 12 paper pack that is one bundle and the information to win that bundle will be on the craft stash Facebook page so a quick recap of everything else that was the wrap this is the notebook pocket and tuck point die set. All of these are available at Craft Stash right now. And this pocket will go into both covers. We have bundles as well that you can have a look at. And we have the notebook cover die set that will do the tall one. And then we have the journal accessories die and stamp sets. It's always best to look at this when you see that one because it's got the A5 stamp set there plus the dies that's gonna cut that out and um, I think that is it don't forget we have the fabric paper would love to know if you want more colors or uh, shiny surfaces and things like that I, I'm going to go through all of your comments a little bit later on and we have the fabric paper here there we go that always changes the color of the screen there we go makes it really cold okay oh and don't forget the peony as well I love this peony as well the ultimate peony and leaf die set really does go with the papers wonderfully okay so i think i have remembered to say everything um i hope you all enjoyed today don't forget on my youtube channel helen griffin uk there will be all of the tutorials for all of the die sets coming up as well so thank you very much for joining me today uh, we look forward to seeing lou next week and don't forget to tune in on friday's craft stash where sam will be going through her new halloween now actually I have had a few questions about my Halloween that's going to be September okay that's going to be the next um, collection after this one so from tomorrow I'm going to be knee deep in Halloween things okay so think about me then okay so thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time